Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. Today I have a Victoria's Secret haul for you guys. I picked up five mists from the buy two get three free sale that happened and let's just jump right into it. So first up we have Velvet Petals La Creme. The notes to this one are Queen of the Night Flower, White Sandalwood, Creme de la Velvet Petals. And I've heard a lot of things about this one. Um, I mainly got it because I've never smelled velvet petals before and I've always been a little interested in what it might smell like. Um, I went with this one because all of the reviews that I watched on YouTube said that this one smelled creamy and I have to say I'm very disappointed. It smells good but this is not creamy. This does not smell creamy to me, not in the slightest. Um, again, I've never smelled velvet petals before so maybe it's creamier than velvet petals but yeah this does not smell creamy to me at all and in fact the entire line I like the way it smells um, but they all kind of remind me of beverages so velvet petals while it does smell good it is not creamy like I thought it would be so I may be returning this one but yeah it does smell good but it's just not what I thought it would be so was disappointed with that one. Oh, and the order that I'm going to say these in are um, my least favorite to my favorite. So I'm ranking them as I go. So next up we have Bear Vanilla. And this is actually the first Bear Vanilla that I've owned. Um, I've smelled Bear Vanilla before and I have a couple of the flangers, but the notes are whipped vanilla, soft cashmere, skin to skin. Well, skin to skin is not a note. I hate how you just you just end up reading that part and it's not even a part of it. <laughs> but bare vanilla smells really good. It's just, you know, a basic vanilla scent. Um, I really like this one, but I may return this one just because um, I just did a video about, you know, five cents that I'm not going to repurchase. Because I kind of overlook them. I reach over them for other things. And I like Bear Vanilla. But the flankers are so much better to me. Because they still smell exactly like Bear Vanilla. Except they have an extra note added in. Like you don't even have to mix them together. Because they're Bear Vanilla mixed with something else. I have Bear Vanilla Decadent. Love that one. I love this one. This one does not get the attention that I think it deserves. Um... Everyone always puts this one as their least favorite of the La Creme line. And I feel the opposite. This is the only one that I think is worth me keeping. The notes are Decadent Vanilla Orchid, Spun Sugar. And they won't get me again with that little saying. I avoided this one like the plague because... I was afraid that it was going to smell like warm vanilla sugar. Warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works is my absolute least favorite vanilla fragrance um, from Victoria's Secret and Bath & Body Works combined. I do not like that one. I never have and I cannot figure out why because the scent notes, they seem like perfect, right on par for what I usually go for. But this one doesn't smell like that at all to me. The spun sugar is so nice and sweet in this. And that mint. The mint is perfect. It makes it like a fresh vanilla smell. Um, Aqua de Joya. If you've ever smelled Aqua de Joya, I like Aqua de Joya. But the citrus in that one with my body chemistry does not go well. So this one to me is like perfect because it's a minty fresh vanilla. But it has no citrus in it. I love Bare Vanilla La Creme. And it's why I'm thinking I may just exchange bare vanilla because of course I'm gonna I would wear bare vanilla but this one is just so much better so next up I could not decide between my top two so <laughs> because I really feel like it just depends on how you feel that day like what mood you're in so today's mood I would put this one at number two midnight bloom I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this one. I'm not sure how new this one is. The notes to this one are Moonflower Creamy Woods. And this is creamy. This is creamy. Now on my skin when I wear it, it kind of dries dries down to a more, a more spicy peppery scent. But it is creamy. The pepperiness in this kind of reminds me of like, if you've smelled Bare Vanilla Decadent, 
it's like an ambery peppery fragrance like to me that's what it reminds me of or like if you smelled the blue bottle of sweet whiskey it reminds me of that same like spicy note that's in those two fragrances this smells so good um, I've been curious about this one for a while but again I haven't heard that many speak many people speak about it there was one video that I watched um, I'll put her name up on the screen I'm not sure how to pronounce it but she mentioned this in a haul and I was like that's it it's blind by worthy for me because the fragrance that she compared it to is one of my favorite fragrances ever and I have to say I agree so I'll make another video on that um, I'll probably film it today when I have some time so my number one fragrance from this haul is aqua kiss now this is one that I believe is Natalie Grace she always talks about this one and she's the reason why I kind of got interested in smelling this one because I this was another one I avoided because the notes are cool waters bright daisy it says make a splash at the bottom and yeah this is definitely aquatic and fresh and floral this is a very very nice scent if there's any guys watching this don't let the name aqua kiss fool you i really think that um a guy can get away with wearing this it is just very nice very fresh um i was afraid of it because i thought it would smell like beautiful day from bath and body works that one's a daisy fragrance as well I don't really like that one and on my skin it actually um, smells a little more toward um, underwater oasis from Bath and Body Works which is one of my favorite fresh scents I love wearing that one at night so now I have this one to add I have one more thing so Midnight Bloom um, this came in a box that said Cosmic Wish. Does anybody know what Cosmic Wish smells like? And when I googled this one, it said that this one came out in 2020, so I'm not sure. I know when I looked up Cosmic Wish, um, Victoria's Secret popped right up and it said that it had apricot and some other whatever it was. But yeah, Midnight Bloom, Cosmic Wish. Let me know if you guys know if they are uh the same scent okay you guys so i'm back with the um second part of the haul which would be the exchange so i took velvet petals the creme back because it was just like this weird green floral note that i had to end up looking up what queen of the night flower was and it turned out to be cactus blossom and i don't really care for cactus blossom so i went there and returned that and bare vanilla and then I picked up one extra thing, which is like, you only got one extra thing. Yep, I only got one. So I switched um, Bare Vanilla out for Bare Vanilla La Creme, the body lotion. I wish these lotions were way thicker because I feel like Victoria's Secret's uh, lotions are very strong. And the scents do last a long time on you, but the consistency of the lotions is just horrible. Horrible. I could have sworn that Victoria's Secret used to sell um, body butters. Like, whatever happened to that? So, I got the matching uh, lotion. I got Velvet Petals um, instead of La Creme. This one has the Lush Blooms and Almond Glaze. And to me... This one's way better than Velvet Petals La Creme. I can't believe it. I've never smelled Velvet, Velvet Petals before. Now this does remind me of something else that I have, but I think it smells really good. It smells way better than the La Creme version, in my opinion. Then I got Coconut Milk and Rose, which is a mist that I don't hear many people talking about. This is from like their spa line. Um, I want to say their spa line is like Bath and Body Works is. Um, what is Bath and Body Works? Aromatherapy line. I do not like the aromatherapy line. So I'm hoping this is better. So feel calm with the scent of coconut milk and rose. Botanical inspiration, true tranquility. This smells so good. I haven't heard anybody talk about this. Um, I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to get on YouTube and look up some some videos on it because this smells so good to me. Now, it does smell fruitier than I expected. Um, I definitely get the coconut milk 
and I smell that it's a floral. I don't necessarily pick up that it's rose, but it also smells like there's other fruit in here. So I don't know if there's like two different types of coconut, like the fruity coconut and then the, you know, the more lactonic coconut creamy milk scent. But this smells so good and I cannot believe I don't hear that many people talking about it. But that's why you have to go to the store and investigate for yourself because people people overlook scents all the time so thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to like comment and subscribe let me know down below um what some of your favorite victoria's secrets fragrances are so i can try them out because i'm slowly building my collection and i will see you next time bye guys